This is a video about how you put new shock absorbers in your wash machine. This is Emile, I'm doing it too. When is the time to put new shock absorbers in your wash machine? If your wash machine are drying and you hear loud bangs, it's because the shock absorbers are bad. Before you take your wash machine apart, you have to find the right shock absorbers. After searching the web, I found out the cheapest I could find was on eBay. I put the link down below, and these shock absorbers fit a lot of Miele machines, but also other machines. Check it out. Here are the tools you're going to need for the job. First thing you have to do is to take the front knob off. I use the screwdriver to take it off. Take the side covers off and screw out the screws and take the top of the wash machine off. Took a screwdriver from the back and pushed out the front panel. Be careful, it's real fragile. Screw all the screws out of the front. There is also a screw inside of the soap dispenser. Now you can take the electronic front off and there is a screw in each side you have to take out. When you're finished with that, you go down to the locking mechanism of the wash machine and there is two screws there you have to loosen also. In the bottom of the machine there is a plastic piece you have to remove. In each side there is three screws you have to remove also. Under the washing drum there is a spring you can take out with the screwdriver. Take the metal ring off of the gasket around the washing drum. There is also a 10 mm bolt you have to loosen. On the back there is six screws that has to be screwed out. The same is at the top, there is three screws in each side you have to remove. Take off each side of the machine. When I was inspecting the machine, I could see that this hose was leaking. So I decided to put some silicone around it. Maybe it's not the right thing to do, but I didn't want to open the machine up once more. Another thing I'm going to mention, it's a good idea to take off the main hose to the machine, and there is a little filter inside it and clean that. And when you're doing this, there is on the front, in the left corner, there is a lid. Open that and open up and clean inside that. That will also help your machine be in good shape. Finally, now we can put the new shop absorbers in the machine. Remove the two bolts in top and bottom and take the old out and put the new shop absorbers into the place. I could see that the shop of Sorga was not sitting straight. Maybe it's because the springs are getting tired over the years. So I decided to move the spring to another hole in the drum. This is done by lifting in the spring and taking it out of the hole in the top of the wash machine. It's very hard to take the spring off, so I had my wife to help me. It's very important to be careful doing this, because I think from the factory they have balanced the machine as good as possible. But in my case I could see it was wrong. It may be it's not wrong in your case. Now it's just time to put 
the wash machine back together and start it up and see if all is working. Good luck with your wash machine.